Hello students, in this tutorial, I am going to solve this question which has been asked by one of my YouTube students, Anamika. So she asked me that this question has been asked in her pre-board examination. So she wanted me to make a video for this question. So here I am, I am making video especially for her. So first of all, I will explain this question. I know this question is a bit tricky to understand. So first of all, I will explain it with the help of very simple examples and after that i will prove it so what this question says if the mth term of an ap of an ap is 1 by n so mth term is 1 by n what does this mean i will come to this and nth term of the ap of the ap means of the same ap is 1 by m then show that it's m nth term is 1 okay i know it's a bit confusing to understand so let me explain it with the help of very simple examples okay let us assume let's assume that the value of m is 4 okay and let's assume that the value of n is 7 i'm just taking two numbers okay i'm just considering that m is 4 and n is 7 so this means the fourth term fourth term means a4 is what a4 is 1 by n means 1 by 7 right and similarly nth term nth term means a7 because we have assumed that the value of n is 7 so a7 is equal to 1 by m and 1 by m means 1 by 4 so this is what this means okay and if this is true then we are asked to prove that its m nth term is 1. m nth term means a 4 into 7 means 28. a 28 is equal to 1. This is what we have to prove. But not like that. We are not going to take the value of m as 4 and value of n as 7. So we have to prove it in a generic way. So let's start its proof. We are given that mth term is equal to 1 by n and nth term nth term is equal to 1 by m right now mth term is 1 by n nth term is 1 by m but we don't know what is the first term of the ap series and what is the common difference so we will assume that a is the first term and d is the common difference okay so let a and d be the first term and the common difference now i know that the mth term is 1 by n and that means mth term means a m is equal to 1 by n but a m will be so let's apply the formula so a m will be a plus m minus 1 into d and this should be equal to 1 by n right so let's call it equation number 1 similarly from this condition we will get a n is equal to 1 by m so this will imply that a plus n minus 1 into d will be equal to 1 by m right so let's call it equation number two right a n is 1 by m so the nth term of the ap series will be a plus n minus 1 into d now we have got two linear equations in the form of a and d so this is one equation and this is another equation in the form of a and d so what we have to do is solve these equations and find the value of a and d in terms of n and m so this is very very simple all we have to do is that subtract this equation from this equation and we will get rid of a okay so let's subtract subtract 1 from 2 so if i subtract 1 from 2 what will i get a will get cancelled i am going to do it quickly so this minus this so this will be equal to n minus 1 into d minus m minus 1 into d is equal to 1 by m minus 1 by n 
So let's open it. It will be equal to ND minus D minus MD plus D is equal to this will become N minus M divided by MN. So these are simple calculations. I'm doing it quickly. D will get cancelled and what will we get? So D is common and inside it will be N minus M is equal to N minus M over MN, right? Now this will also get cancelled. So this is simple calculation. You can do it. So D will be equal to 1 by MN. So now I have got the value of D in terms of MN. Similarly, I will get the value of A in terms of M and N. So what I have to do is put the value of D in equation 1 or in equation 2. Okay. So put the value of D either in this equation or in this equation. So let's put it in equation number 2. Okay. So put value of D in equation number 2. It doesn't matter. You can put it in any equation. So this will become A plus N minus 1 and the value of d value of d is 1 by mn this will be 1 by mn is equal to 1 by m okay now let's solve it and let's find the value of a so this will be equal to a plus this will become n minus 1 over mn is equal to 1 by m so this implies a will be equal to 1 by m minus so let's take it over here n minus 1 over mn and this will be equal to mn will be the lcm and this will become n minus n plus 1 so this will get cancelled and the value of a is also 1 by mn so value of D is also 1 by MN. If you remember, value of D is also 1 by MN. Value of A is also 1 by MN. So let's use the value of A and D and find the MNth term. Okay. So that will be very, very simple now. So we have to find A M N and A M N. This term will be equal to A plus M N minus 1 into d so i hope you are not getting confused with this formula so this is just like this so if i have to find a4 so a4 will be a plus 3d which is equal to a plus 4 minus 1 into d right so instead of 4 we have mn so instead of 4 we have mn right so i hope you already understand this formula right so now let's put the value of a and d over here. So this will be equal to the value of a is 1 by mn plus this will be mn minus 1 into 1 by mn. So let's solve it. So this will become 1 by mn plus this will become mn minus 1 over mn. So the LCM will be m into n. So this is m into n basically okay so this will become 1 plus m n minus 1 so this will be cancelled and this will be equal to m n divided by m n and now we will get 1 and that's what we wanted to prove right so that's it from this tutorial keep watching Mathemafia!